Go in the woods thinking you can battle nature, and nine times out of ten, you ain't coming out. I spent a lot of time trying to understand what our ancestors were about, how they did what they did, and tried to reproduce it. I'm Tom Vachon, and this is bad. Today I'm making two strand rope out of alpaca fiber. Alpaca has been used in the Andean Highland for thousands of years to make everything from textiles to tools because it's lightweight, soft, strong, and most of all, it's difficult to ignite. Now, I'm not making yarn, so I don't need to bother with carding or spinning. And in fact, I'm not even bothering to remove any of the grass particles that may be in it, other than the longer sticks that would interfere with the rope making process. As you can see, I've got a wad of fiber in one hand and I'm drawing small amounts from it, rolling it on my thigh as I go. This will help keep it from falling into clumps before I have a chance to twist it into the rope. Now that I've got the roving ready, I'm going to add it to the rope that I've already made by separating it into two strands. If you need to see how I started, you can find detailed instructions about rope making on my channel in the video titled Making Rope Using Natural Fiber and Scrap Pieces for Survival. As you can see, I'm opening up the fibers on the ends of the rope that I've already started. That's going to help it bind to the new roving uh, when I start adding it. Now as I've mentioned before in my uh, other rope making video, uh, you can strengthen uh, the rope that you've made with the alpaca fiber just by doubling it over and continuing the process uh, as you would if you were starting from the roving. If you have any questions on the process, just send me a message uh, through the YouTube channel and uh, I'll try to answer them as soon as I possibly can. Well, that's all for this time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.